What's up, Brock and the hamster? Nothing much. We're making, well, we're done making circles now. Yeah. yeah it's Wait. all circles. That's yeah. it. It's all yeah. It's what up, people? Oh. This is the voyage of the hamster, part two. Ooh. Why? What are you doing? Why is it called that? So we're making a scale model of the Rutan Voyager. Yeah, how big is it going to make? Uh, 28 foot, is that right? It's like yeah. large, yeah. Yeah? Why are we doing this? Um, circles. Circles? Yeah, that's a big part of it. <laughs> well, that's exciting. Gene, what are you doing? Circles. Are you excited? Yes. Why are you always so understated? Look at the dinosaur. What? Oh. Well, how about you show everybody what you guys are working on? All right, so right now we're working on a contraption to uh, glue the um, blooms together, right? Yeah. Got it? To hold the glue of blooms together. Okay, so what's this contraption? How does that work? Uh, basically, we have the uh, wood. Yes. All the circles in place. These two by fours here? Yes. One here and, and one over here? And we these pieces of wood, put them on the end with ratchet straps, so they put tension and they'll hold them all together. I gotcha. So now this wood, that looks like it's keeping everything straight. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to cut those pieces and you're going to ratchet it together so when you glue this, it can hold tight. Is that the deal? Yep. Okay. Now what is this thing going to be? This is going to be one of the booms on... Do you have that uh, blueprint? You can show everybody what it looks like? Yes. Looks like Brock's getting it. Your lovely assistant hamster. Alright, show everybody what you got there. So on the Voyager, um... Where we go? Here. Okay, so here's We're the Voyager. We're working on the booms on the side here. Okay. This is the um, cockpit. Yeah. Um, so this, you said this is going to be a boom, right? Yep. Obviously you're going to have to sand it and everything, mm -hmm. but the circles got you close. Now wh what's the cockpit going to be made out of? The cockpit is made out of those larger circles. Hold on, these guys here. So is it going to be the same sort of thing? You're going to glue them all together? Mm -hmm. How are you going to hollow it out if you need to? Or We're make compartments? I'm not 100% sure on that, but maybe we use a hot knife. Um, we cut a circle out of them. Okay, so that's a good idea. Maybe glue them together and do it later, too? Depends on what you need. Mm -hmm. So right now, you guys are working on, what would you consider this stage? What's this all about? This Circle. is uh, the material stage. Just basically getting all your big basic stuff? Yes. Kind of doing shapes together, so that way we can cut them out to the shape we want, have them all glued together, and sand it down to the uh, perfect model. You look like you got some wings over here, Hamster. You want to show people that? How'd you make those things? So these wings use a hot wire. Yeah? From up Let, there. Let's see the hot wire. Bring that wing over there. Let's see the hot wire. So this you can obviously get down. I think maybe people saw you using it in the past. Brock, do you want to grab it? And yeah. So Hamster can show people how it works. All right, so what do we got here? So this is obviously made out of plywood. And then you probably tension this when you go to heat it up? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the wire over here. And that's what, 030 stainless steel wire? 30 thousandths, yeah. 30 thousandths? Yep. And then this is the, show them the, tr the uh, power supply over there, hamster. So here we have yeah. a transformer. Correct. That's a rocket transformer. <laughs> you can totally overpower it, can't you? Yeah. What's the best setting you found for that size um, of wire? The best is around 27, 28. And it turns out to 130, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, so we got to be careful with that one, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Brock's over here laughing. Why are you laughing, Brock? Because uh, we got really close to melting the wire the one time. <laughs> we were testing <laughs> just to see how far we could go. Wait, how far did you go? Uh, I think we went to like 38. Which out of 130? Was, out of 130. So we got to make sure we use proper supervision. Correct. So the hamster, you got to watch these college students around that hamster. <laughs> You're there. Who there? Who's a bad influence? Are you guys a bad influence on him, or is he a bad influence on you? Oh, we're a terrible influence, all of us. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the hamster's a quiet one. You gotta look out for. Okay, so let's see this wing foil you got there. All right. It's air foil. So this is one of the wings. Yeah. Now this one looks like it's got a taper. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's smaller at the tip and bigger down here. Yep. This is the one we use on the outside. Okay. On that makes sense. Now, how did you make that? Well, you you look like you had to have some kind of pattern or something. Uh, yep. So basically. We cut out these airfoils, mm -hmm. put them at the end. So we use a small one for taper. Yeah, for the outside. For this. Looks like you're backwards there. Hold on. So you screw that to the end of your 
piece of um, polystyrene, mm -hmm. and uh, and then you hot wire around that, huh? Yep. For the side. Just like this. Yes. That makes sense. But when you guys are actually doing it, you lay the actual foam real flat and put weights over it and then move the hot wire, right? Correct. That makes sense. Now, what did you learn about hot wiring? What's the, what are the difficulties and what were your successes? At first, we had a lot of bowing in the middle of the wing. Yes. And that was because we did not put any weight and okay. the uh, foam would flex. Honestly. Interesting. How so did you overcome that? We, uh, we had wood and brock. On top of it. <laughs> I just like the sentence we added wood and Brock. Okay, and Brock sat on it. Uh, upper half of them, yes. The upper half. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Because I, I thought that was going to be a joke on Brock for a minute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you guys got all the materials and such. So what's your next step in this process? Oh, well, now we need to finish the gluing. Uh, You're gonna have to glue all the booms and stuff together. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so that's a thing. Now these wings here. I have a feeling they've got to be strengthened. Are you going to do some kind of spar in them? or? Oh, yeah. We're going to cut a hole straight down, and we're going to stick a uh, tube of uh, plywood. You, think, you mean not a tube of plywood? Are you well, saying you're going to cut it in half all the way down the length of it? Right, and it'll have plywood similar to the arm of this. Okay. I imagine thinner, though, huh? Correct. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that's neat. So uh, this airplane is going to be enormous. What, do you, what challenges do you think you'll have with that? Keeping it here, I guess. Just keeping it here? Yeah. Well, we got a lot of room. It's, it's not going to be any bigger than the uh, pterosaur. Okay. Well, <laughs> maybe we can uh, convince your parents to take the cars out of the garage and just store it there. All right, yeah. I don't see that happening. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that's pretty neat, you guys. Um, so what do you think is going to be your biggest challenge coming up? Um... Probably getting it all together on top of also... Here, come on over here. I'm kind of out of room, sorry. Getting it all together, you say? Uh, getting it all together and being able to sand and finish the fuselage and the booms, getting the correct shape. On the print, we actually have... Um, cross sections? Cross sections. Uh -huh. And those cross sections show us exactly what the shape of the boom and, and uh, fuselage look like. And we've noticed that it's actually a pretty complicated shape. So it was pretty hard for us to get that perfect. Fair enough, fair enough. And um, what are you going to power it by? Uh, we're thinking like a little Briggs and Stratton gas engine. A Briggs? Like four-stroke? Are you talking like a two-stroke engine? Like a two-stroke, I guess, yeah. Not a Briggs. Okay, so single-cylinder two-stroke. Like a weed eater kind of a thing? Yeah, that'll work. Okay, something like that. All right, well, this is cool. And it's going to be a big control line, huh? Correct. That's crazy. Have you thought about how you're going to weight and balance it and whatnot? Um, haven't put that thought in just yet. We have a little bit more uh, time to do that. However, um, some preliminary ideas is like maybe we can hollow out a little piece in the fuselage and we can stick a weight in there. Totally. And, you know, depending on your weights, you can... Move your fuel arguments. tank around. Correct. Hamster, yeah. hey, how do you feel about building airplanes now that you've been working on this? It's neat. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like it as much as building cars? I think I like cars a little bit more. Yeah? Like getting all the mechanical? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we should wait and decide in the end until you're done. You might end up liking this when it starts going together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm glad you like it. Uh, do you enjoy working on your airplane right next to this cool prototype car that the guys are working on? Yeah. I and Hamster, you're going to Road America with everybody uh, next weekend. Oh. Are you excited about that? You're going on a big, crazy road racing trip with some <laughs> with your friends that are all older now? Oh, yeah. Are you nervous? Not really. Not really? You're just ready to go uh, rock out and go racing, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, cool. Well, we hope you guys will come visit all of us in the Hamster at Road America. And stay tuned for the next voyage of the Hamster. I hope you guys will like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.